O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Dear friends, I welcome you wholeheartedly to this fourth day of praying for the homosexual victims of the Inquisition. Let us begin with the hymn. So we will take only one paragraph of uh, this saying, this hymn we sing, meditating on the Easter, this Easter season in which the Lord has won all the paths of hell and darkness. We now sing this hymn, Easter triumph, Easter joy. Sin alone can this destroy Souls from sin and death set free Glory in the liberty Hymns of glory, hymns of praise Father unto you we raise Raise and Lord for joy we sing let our hymns through heaven ring Hymns of glory, hymns of praise Father unto you we raise Raise and Lord for joy we sing Let our hymns through heaven ring so today uh, we have taken a theme for to pray for all the homosexuals arrested by the Inquisition for homosexuality. So yesterday I have explained very clearly about how this uh, arrest for the sake of homosexuality was being done. So who exactly were arrested? Which type of homosexuals were arrested by the Inquisition? So from the Inquisition records, any person who has uh, involved in any same-sex activity with another person could be arrested by the Inquisition. But not every form of same-sex activity was condemned by the Inquisitional Court. So in this way we find a distinguishing um, criteria set up by the uh, Inquisitional Court. Only the acts in which perfect sodomy, perfect sodomy means there should be an anal intercourse with the, with the emission of uh, this seed. So that if that is, uh, that is done, so that is perfect sodomy and it was punished by the inquisition uh, either with death, mostly in the cases it is culpable to death. Perfect sodomy is often culpable with death. Sometimes the sentence could be reduced, commutation of the sentence. Either the person is sent for exile from the country to a faraway, a faraway place. Often we find that from the inquisitional records in Portugal and all, a person who is caught in this act, if who is condemned of this, if they are exiled, they are exiled to far off African countries such as Ankola or even to Goa. So that's how exile from the home, exile from like you know separation from all of them, all the family members. So all these things were being done. And why like you know the arrest of the inquisition, that was also quite a secret process. So why, when, how a person will be caught by the inquisition we do not know. For example, Joseph Menezes, the captain of DU in 1669, was arrested for homosexuality in the city of Goa. So actually, he just returned from DU after finishing a battle with the Arabs there. So he returned to Goa and he was actually punished by uh, the state authority 
for like you know not like you know he was he was put the responsibility for the failure in that war so once that is being done immediately the inquisitional officers came and arrested him but later it proved to be a false thing later it proved it proved to be it proved to be false it proved to be a false scam on him but still he had to undergo a lot of pain on account of that so there are also one of the main important uh, case like you know which which happened like you know which happened like in a moment kind of thing was arrest of templars uh, the religious order of templars around in the beginning of the 1300 1307 1306 during that time the templars were all arrested like all of a sudden one of the charges which was brought against them was sodomy that they involved in homosexual practices but how much of that is true we do not know because uh, uh because according to one of the researcher who has read a, uh, who had studied a lot about uh, the templars and their practices said that it was a uh, uh, it was a kind of test for like you know how much celibate they are because they need to live in a militaristic kind of way of life it's a test for like you know uh their uh, uh their fidelity especially if they are caught in the hands of the infidels they might be even subjected to all these practices so how that person is keeping his faith it could be a test for that so there are like countless number of people who were arrested for inquisition uh in the moment in which like you know the person may not be may not even least expect that some persons uh like you know they they know very well that they might get caught by the inquisition so they well prepare in advance in one case from portugal inquisition we find this particular friar was in was in a kind of same sex relationship with and another one friar but uh, finally he didn't wanted to get uh caught by the inquisition first so he became an approver so how to become the approver by going and surrendering to the inquisition and saying confessing that i have done so and so and like you know becoming a good person in their eyes like you know so he will be automatically prone to protection maybe he could be severely admonished and he been he could be sent so there are like a uh, countless people who were arrested by the inquisition for homosexuality and it itself was kind of very much negative influence negative influence of the person and their social standards because during that time uh, the uh, like you know from the inquisitional inquisitional records what we are able to find is that it's not just the person who is subjected to punishment but their immediate family as well as their relatives they may have to really uh, he, he, lose all their civil rights also and it is a way through which uh, inter uh, interpersonal rivalry or familial uh, rivalry were also were being done suppose one wealthy fa- wealthy powerful family is there like you know it is not like be the other person so the other person will uh, put uh, in this case of sodomy against this this person so and so had involved in uh, this uh, uh, sodomy act so yeah, by just making a rumor just by making this thing itself is a cause uh, is a thing of defamation and it was a serious threat to the social security of that person so uh, we offer here especially with how much fear and terror that during that time people must have lived uh, because of this uh, terrifying acts of the inquisition we offer all of them and we also pray for the souls which were like you know souls of the people who were arrested by the inquisition but uh, they may not have been burned alive but they could have died in the inquisitional prisons themselves so there is a uh, one case where hamid or some one one moor who was in who was caught in captivity and uh, he was uh, put into the inquisitional prison and he died within the prison so inquisitional prison was a form of uh, uh, what to say what to say is that like you no know, strict seclusion no making of any noise you are not able to uh, like you know uh, speak with other communicate with the other person and it's a very much strict and vigilant um uh, vigilant uh, judicial system in which all the process everything of that was carried out in very much secrecy so keeping all this in mind offering 
like you know keeping all those souls their souls require consolation their souls require prayers their soul requires a um, uh, lot of things to be forgiven as well as the church calls us to pray for the victims as well as the tormentors of all these uh, cruel practices which came from the tribunals so keeping all this in mind we pray for them and especially we now say the psalm 129 for them for the consolation of their souls we say out of the depths i cry to you o lord lord hear my voice o let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading if we o lord should mark our guilt lord who would survive but with the use found forgiveness for this we revere you my soul is waiting for the lord i count on his word my soul is longing for the lord more than watchman for daybreak let the watchman count on daybreak and israel on the lord because with the lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity eternal rest grant unto them o lord and let perpetual light shine upon them from the gates of hell deliver their souls o lord may they rest in peace amen o lord hear my prayer and let my cry come unto you let us pray deliver lord from all the bonds of sin the souls of all the faithful departed in the resurrection sharing your glory may they live again with your elect and your saints through the same christ our lord amen now we are going to the divine mercy chaplet today we are we are especially remembering all these people who were arrested by the inquisition for uh, homosexual practices and may the mercy of christ reside in the church may there be made more room for mercy without changing the doctrine without changing the doctrine but more room for mercy and merciful and empathetic approach be followed so that the doctrine of christ that uh, be more reaching more to them and the people may renounce uh, people may like you know go away from that from this practice uh, from people may more more and more embrace the virtue of chastity and celibacy uh, and follow christ closely for this intentions keeping all these things we now say the divine mercy chaplet the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a fountain of mercy for us i trust in you o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a fountain of mercy for us i trust in you o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a fountain of mercy for us i trust in you our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus Holy Mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen now we recite the apostles creed i believe in god the father almighty the creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord he was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now we are going to offer the first bead of the uh, Divine Mercy Chaplet. We offer especially for. all the victims who were arrested by the inquisition for homosexuality we say eternal father i offer you the body and blood the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world now the second decade we especially offer for all the victims arrested by the inquisition who died within the inquisition jail and who mostly they were buried inside the inquisition uh, inquisitional palace inquisitional grounds so we now especially offer this decade for all those souls we say eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world third uh, decade we especially offer for all the relatives of the same sex attracted people and all the family of the same sex attracted people that the lord gives them more empathetic kind and understanding approach rather than a judgmental approach for this case, for this intention we now say eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world now we are going to the fourth decade we especially offer this for all the souls of the departed uh, departed especially of the homosexuals we now say eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world now we are going to the final decade so this decade we offer for your own personal intentions that pray that god's mercy be more and more poured out and many of these same sex attracted people may come to the sacramental grace as the catechism of the catholic church also teaches that uh, through the sacramental grace that they can resolutely and gradually uh, march towards perfection so for them for the sacramental grace that they may walk towards sacramental grace we now offer say eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal god in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despotic but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself now we are going to hear the holy scripture it is taken from galatians chapter 6 verse 1 brothers if any one is caught in any transgression you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness keep watch on yourself lest you to be tempted give to your hands lord i commend my spirit hallelujah hallelujah in your hands lord i commend my spirit hallelujah hallelujah you have redeemed us lord god of truth hallelujah hallelujah glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit in your hands lord i commend my spirit hallelujah hallelujah so a very short reflection on this uh, scripture so there is this scripture emphasizes us to have a spirit of gentleness so what is spirit of gentleness is a uh, spirit of gentleness can be uh, like you know the science of spirit of spirit of gentleness is that you are trying to understand the other person from their own perspectives not just from yours first sign second sign is that you are listening to that person so that is the expression of a spirit of gentleness third thing is that you are not judging or condemning that person but you are speaking about the mercy of god to them fourth thing is that you are not just uh you are not just speaking about us uh, mercy but you also pray that god's will be done in their life even though they may agree with you or may disagree with you whatever that might be you pray that god's will be done in their lives ardently often patiently 
and fifth one will be that when you of when you act with the spirit of gentleness you are ready to forgive and you are ready to move on so these are all the signs of the spiritual spirit of gentleness that we are supposed to have especially when we deal with homosexual people so the spirit spirit of gentleness is very much required so what lacks often is that the spirit of gentleness this approach of gentleness is often lacking only judgment only condemnation only doctrine only this thing the, so that is not that is not the thing the doctrine everything should hand this should go hand in hand together with spirit of gentleness let us uh, look that the spirit of gentleness be restored in the church as well as spirit of gentleness be restored in our hearts especially when uh, we deal with our homosexual brethren when we deal with our brothers and sisters etc of our homosexual brethren and we and to pray that the god's mercy be more on them that the that this god's mercy may reach them may the spirit of gentleness be touch them may they be treated with gentle kind and respectable way as the church calls us to treat these people with uh, compassion sensitivity and respect for that purpose we now say the divine mercy chaplet offered offered for all the same sex attracted people we now say divine mercy gushing forth from the bosom of the father i trust in you divine mercy greatest attribute of god i trust in you divine mercy incomprehensible mystery i trust in you divine mercy found and gushing forth from the mystery of the most blessed trinity i trust in you divine mercy sorry unfathomed by any intellect human or angelic i trust in you divine mercy from which wells forth all life and happiness i trust in you divine mercy better than the heavens i trust in you divine mercy source of miracles and wonders i trust in you divine mercy encompassing the whole universe i trust in you divine mercy descending to earth in the person of the incarnate word i trust in you divine mercy which flowed out from the open wound of the heart of jesus i trust in you divine mercy enclosed in the heart of jesus for us and especially for sinners i trust in you divine mercy unfathomed in the institution of the sacred host i trust in you divine mercy in the founding of the holy church i trust in you divine mercy in the sacrament of holy baptism i trust in you divine mercy in our justification through jesus christ i trust in you divine mercy accompanying us through our whole life i trust in you divine mercy embracing us especially at the hour of our death i trust in you divine mercy endowing us with immortal life i trust in you divine mercy accompanying us every moment of our life i trust in you divine mercy shielding us from the fire of hell i trust in you divine mercy in the conversion of hardened sinners i trust in you divine mercy astonishment for angels incomprehensible to saints i trust in you divine mercy unfathomed in all the mysteries of god i trust in you divine mercy lifting us out of every misery i trust in you divine mercy source of our happiness and joy i trust in you divine mercy in calling us forth from nothingness to existence i trust in you divine mercy embracing all the works of his hands i trust in you divine mercy in which we are all immersed i trust in you divine mercy sweet relief for anguished hearts i trust in you divine mercy only hope of despairing souls i trust in you divine mercy repose of hearts peace amidst fear i trust in you divine mercy delight and ecstasy of holy souls i trust in you divine mercy inspiring hope against all hope i trust in you now we gather all our intercessions especially please remember at this time all the same sex attracted people all the gay people who are undergoing lot of pain in their life there are a uh, uh, lot of pain under, undergoing inside because uh, 
they like you know they may not even able to understand themselves identity confusion we may call that so for all those people and uh, uh, people will be having lot of pain what if uh, my friends come to know about that whether they will reject me all this pain we offer them at this moment we also offer that their parents like you know they have got pain about their parents what if my parents come to know about me whether they will disown me so all these thoughts we offer we also pray uh, people like you know same sex attracted people who live in employment like you know for example in a workplace if I, if they if the, my colleagues or my manager come to know about my same sex attraction in one or the other way what will happen the fears all their fears also same sex attracted people who live in the houses we, they may not have their own houses they are living in some accommodation places there are some cases where the same sex attracted people have been driven out for, from their uh, houses from this accommodation places so keeping all that there are lot of fears involved not just that what if the church rejects rejects me the church community what it what it rejects how what what will i do when it rejects what will i do when all this relatives reject me when all my friends reject me what happens if my uh, if all of my friends will disown me but there will be only one solution is that god will never reject you for god speaks through the prophet saying that even if your father and your mother uh, forsake you even uh, i will never forsake you that is the first promise another one promise is that even uh, if you are hated or rejected by everyone else i still require you i need you i love you so these are the words of jesus amidst all your things even like you know for a person who whom who is living in a same sex relationship with another person a partnered relationship whether jesus will hate him no see for example if you see from the scripture if you take the scripture uh, there was uh, a, there were there is this very much interesting episode where uh, the israelites came and asked the lord to have a king for their own which he was against the will of god the will of god was that he himself will be their guide he will be guiding them through prophets or any other means that was his will but these people have rejected the will of god but and they have they wanted king for sure and they were adamant about their uh, demand but finally the lord said that though this people didn't like you know rejected the will of god they uh, like you know they were not in conformity with the will of god god never abandoned them god never said that like you know you are going to hell you are no not like that he still like you know he had uh, uh, he god made some sort of compromises like you know because he loves them he want to like you know because human being human nature god knows very well then he is providing them kings and he is guiding them he is protecting them when the kings are oppressing also god is protecting them and finally through that kingship only god is uh, expressing his uh, plan of messiah messiah so in that kings in that kingship that line of kingship came uh, that king david so that we should remember like you know how god treated the people who didn't accepted his will in many of the cases like you know to like you know maybe same sex relationship may not be in doctrinally like you know compatible with the church but apart from that apart from the doctrines how we are living apart from that how we are being in friendship and love with them suppose two same sex attracted people like you know they are living in a partnered relationship near to your apartment will you go and attend their attend uh, if they if they invite you if they invite you uh, a function in their house will you go and attend or if they if or whether you will you will uh, invite them for lunch in your house so apart from all these things god wants friendship god wants to make sure that he is there for them so like you know uh, people who didn't like you know people who followed the faiths other than judaism to them also jesus loved them and gave them like you know blessings for example syro phoenician women she lived like you know in a pagan religion according to that pagan paganism was considered as which is against the will of god so even that physio phoenician women uh, like you know when she asked for uh, like you know uh, healing jesus gave that and when that roman centurion he is following he is not a jew 
he didn't follow like you know yahweh the father of our lord jesus christ he didn't follow that but even when he asked with faith so god had helped him the same way is that lot of same sex attracted uh, people who are living as uh, in partnered relationships it is not a easy thing to live in a partner relationships there are fights there are understandings there are misunderstandings there is pain so it's a, it's a still process there are like you know very faithful same sex attracted people who have been taking care of each other for a very long time very much so all these things what i could say is that we cannot just reduce all these things in sorts of some sort of a legalistic sense we can we cannot just reduce human nature or all these things into a legalistic things so keeping all this in mind we now call the father in heaven who has created us all who is the father for us for us all who is the who is love itself who is mercy itself now we say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil the concluding prayer eternal god in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible look kindly upon us and kindly increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself amen dear friends finally we are going to sing a hymn to our lady of mount virgin so why this our lady of mount virgin in all all these prayer sessions i have been explaining so here also freshly i am explaining so it is uh, so in in the christian tradition this our lady of monte virgin this monte virgin is a mountain located in italy so on the top of this monte virgin there is a church dedicated to our lady so she is came to be known as our lady of monte virgin so this our lady of monte virgin how she brought the mercy of god to gay people so there it is said that in the winter of 1256 ad 1256 ad madonna of monte virgin saved two gay people so it is said that these two gay people who were in a sort of relationship they were caught by the city and they were beaten and driven out from their city and they were brought to this mountain and they were tied they were tied uh, they were tied to a tree and they and they were left to die of cold and exposure to that they just like you know they just left that they just left them in cold and by tying their hands so that they will die there but our lady who, who like you know who is our lady of mercy she is our lady of mercy she is a merciful mother she had uh, carried our lord jesus christ in her womb and she carried always him uh, even at the foot of the cross she was there she was made as the mother for us all so the mother of god had pity on them and she performed a miracle so in that cold winter our lady let warm sunshine some rays of sunshine was made by this our lady suddenly break through the darkness and this practically the ice around that particular place got melted and these two gay people were able to save themselves so for this our lady our lady of mercy our lady of monte virgin we now honor with a small hymn o lady full of god's own grace whose caring hands the child embrace who listen to the spirit's word believed and trusted in the lord madonna of monte virgin my dearest mother pray for me madonna of monte virgin my dearest mother pray for me o lady who fell daily joy in caring for the holy boy 
whose home was plain and shorn of wealth, yet was enriched by God's own breath. Madonna of Monte Virgin, my dearest mother, pray for me. Madonna of Monte Virgin, my dearest mother, pray for me. O lady who bore living Spain, but still believed that love would reign, who on a hill watched Jesus die, as on the cross they raised him high. Madonna of Monte Virgin, my dearest mother, pray for me. Madonna of Monte Virgin, my dearest mother, pray for me. O lady who on Easter day had all your sorrow wiped away, as God the Father's will was done, when from death's hold he freed your son. Madonna of Monte Virgin, my dearest mother, pray for me. Madonna of Monte Virgin, my dearest mother, pray for me. Thank you dear friends for joining me in this prayer and praying for all our same-sex attracted people. If you have any prayer requests, prayer queries regarding this or any of the things, you can freely message me or comment me anytime. Happy to help. Now uh, we'll be going to our final blessing. May the Almighty and all-powerful and merciful Lord grant us a restful night. Amen. Good night. God bless you all. See you tomorrow again at 9 o'clock. So tomorrow being Sunday, tomorrow around 4 o'clock, we have got a prayer, evening 4 o'clock. So that is a general common prayer. Tomorrow is the birthday of uh, Father uh, Venerable, Father Prosper of Holy Spirit. He was responsible for restoration of the Mount Carmel uh, in 1631. We remember him. At night, 9 o'clock, we will be usually having uh, this intercessory, this uh, Divine Mercy session for our homosexual people. Uh, for, for them, like, you know, there will be prayers. Uh, pro provided that, like, you know, if there is a power cut or something, it may not be able to continue, but we will clump it together with the next day. Thank you very much. Please keep in prayers. We'll continue praying for you all. God bless you all. Have a blessed and prayerful and peaceful night. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and His mercy and friendship be with you all. 